him into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. Along with my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. And a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. Yeah, this might be the game to actually decide the series, Boo. When it's five games, getting a 2-0 lead is a dominant position to be in. And I don't see this series getting to a fifth game if we have a repeat of game one's outcome in this one. Yeah, the Crows start circling for a team that falls into a two-game deficit. Not where you want to be. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set, and today's starting pitcher, Dwight Gibbons. Well, he's going to come at hitters with a four-seam fastball and a two-seam fastball, and he's able to maintain really good spin rate on the four-seam fastball. A lot of times guys lose hitter. that when they go to the two-seamer. Very effective with both pitches. And that one is lifted in the air. Merrill has this one sized up, and he makes the catch. And that is the Wexler in her 11th season, a member of the 2000 hit club. She's a former National League Cy Young Award winner. Late on that fastball. Good no pitch ball. right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's going to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Chance to collect herself down 0-2. The Pirates leading by three here in game two of the NLDS. Back to the mound. It hit him. No chance for a play. And let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. Now Vega gets the ball now. Well, they didn't get much length out their yeah. starter in this one so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen I think they'll look for some length out of right here if they can get it. And the pitch. On the ground left side. Six. Four. Three. And they turn the double play. Got what he was looking for in the mound right there. He's in the years, took care of business. Oh, yeah. Textbook execution between yeah, short sure. and second to turn that into two outs. is not close. Legends really are cemented in the postseason. You think of David Ortiz heroics for the Red Sox, Derek Jeter oh. as Mr. November, or Randy Johnson in the 2001 World Series, just to name a few. Oh. Late with the swing there. Well, on that idea of postseason Great reputations, Boo, gotta mention players like Carlton Fisk, Reggie Jackson, and Madison oh. Bumgarner. We were doing that game. Those guys really shine in the toughest moments. Time called. The 2-2 will have to wait just a second. And another ball. The Cubbies down by a pair here in game two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball.
Three and two. Payoff pitch. And it's ball, ball four. Take he missed down low. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now, now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Here comes the 0-1. Runner on the go. In the air, out towards right center. Henson sizes this one up, calls it in to a one. So two down, Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Moves first, Wexler back on a dive. With the tying run at the plate, here in the bottom of the six. The kick and the pitch, runner goes. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. So it's no And next for the Cubs, Addie Wexler, one for two. Intentional pass coming. Bases now loaded. Though it does set up a force at every base. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch her swing the bat. But this team does not want to let her beat him. Lifted in the air down the left side. Squeezes it. Here's the throw. Back to first. And they got her. Double play. Well, we assume it, but not all double plays are six four threes or something like that. Right there, it's just sort of a combination of good defense and poor base running, and probably more of the latter. That's a big turn of events in this inning, though. Well, one of the goals in the postseason is to split on the road and play very well at home. They did just that with the win today, even it up at one and one. So, Chris, here's a look at the final numbers from what turned out to be a really close ball game. Yeah, this is one of those games that clearly could have gone either way, and that's kind of exactly what you expect out of postseason baseball. So competitive. And the final score here, 4-3. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Schell. Thanks for joining us.